Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered what's going on up there? Up there, up through the clouds. Have you ever wondered what the moon is made of? Why the stars twinkle? What it feels like to be an astronaut living in space? Emma and Joshua have lots of questions about the stars and this is their stargazing story. Emma, what can you see in the sky? Bluey grey stuff. I think it's cloud. Josh, do you know, is there usually a star that's out in the daytime? The thing that looks like a star is the sun. Well done, Joshua. He's nearly there. In fact, the sun doesn't only look like a star, it is a star. The sun is a burning hot ball that has fire flames on. We should never look at the sun with your eyes because you might hurt your eyes. Can you see any stars in the sky? No. The stars only come out when the sun is gone. <laughs> well done. It's because the sun stops their light. There are thousands of stars twinkling in the sky during the day, but we can't see them because they're hidden by the bright light of our closest star, the sun. What can we not see in the sky at the moment? The stars and the moon, because it is cloudy. Can you see anything up there? No. no. What a shame, it's raining and we can't see any stars tonight, can we? Emma, how far away do you think the stars are? A billion miles. Infinity of miles. Not quite infinity. After the sun, our closest star is still 25 million, million miles away. Emma, if it's a nice night tomorrow, would you like to go on a special trip to see the stars? Yeah. So yeah. Do, you know, do you know where it is? Dark Sky Park. Dark Sky Park. Would that be we... good? Yeah. The Dark Sky Park in Galloway Forest is a very special place and perfect for stargazing because there are no lights except for the twinkles coming from the stars. Joshua and Emma, let's get ready now to go to the sky park. We're going to it now! So yeah, so let's get our coats. Let's get our coats. I can't believe it! When we look up at the sky from within a town or a city, the light from all the cars, buildings and street lamps light up the sky, much like the sun does during the day, making it tricky for us to see all the stars shining. But the dark sky park is really dark. Wow. Oh. Yay, we're here! Yay! Hi. Hey guys, how are you kids? Hi there. I'm Keith. Do you know what I am? I'm a dark sky ranger. I look at the stars. Do you see lots of stars up there just now? No. no. Why not? I think it's because the caravan lights are on. That's right. It takes a few minutes, okay, for your eyes to adjust so that you can see the dark skies. We'll have to switch yeah. off the lights. Shall we do a countdown and switch off the lights then and make it go all dark? Are you ready? Okay, right. I'll, go, I'll go and turn you the go lights off. You go and switch please. off the lights from fantastic. Start on 10. Are you ready? Shall we hold up our fingers? Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, six five, four, four three, three, two, one. Out. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! I can see tongues! I can see little stars! Because it's so dark, we're using a very special camera to see what Joshua and Emma are up to in the sky park. You might have seen this camera used to film animals at night. Right kids, now that we've been out here for a while, what's the brightest star you can see? That one. That one. Now I've got something very special, okay? It's a special pointer that points out the stars. I'll switch it on. Is yeah. that the one you're looking yeah, at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a star. Oh. It's a planet. I knew that all along. <laughs> Did you? Excellent. Now what, what planet do you think it is? Venus. Not Venus. Jupiter. Spot on. <laughs> well done. Looks 
so, so pretty that I can't help gazing up. Some stars in our galaxy seem brighter than others because they're either closer to the Earth or they're very big. If you see something in the sky that's not twinkling, it's probably a planet. Does anyone know what the patterns in the sky are called? They're called con... Constellations. Constellations, that's yeah. right. Have you heard about the North Star? Yeah. Yeah? Well, it's also called the Pole Star. It stands right up there and it doesn't move very much. But it's quite hard to find the North Star because it's not very bright. But do you know how we find it? We use pointer constellations. Okay, so there, there's the plow, there's the handle of this, of this saucepan. And you see these two stars there? That's the pointer star. And you follow that right up. There's your North Star. There's your pole star. Well, have you enjoyed coming out to see us tonight? Yes. Have you enjoyed seeing all the stars? Yeah. Thank you, Keith. Thanks, Keith. My pleasure. Thank you for coming. Thank you. It's been Thank amazing, you. isn't it? It was very amazing. Should we go back to the camper van and get some hot chocolate? Yeah! Woo! Happy Very star hunting. Cool. Bye. Now it's time for Joshua and Emma to draw pictures of what they saw in the sky. Did you enjoy this evening? Yeah. And what are you making here? That's the saucepan and that's the North Star. And what other planets did you see on have you got in your picture? That's Jupiter and that's the Sun. Emma and Josh, should we just have a quick look out the window, see if we can see any more stars? Should we? Let's have a look. 